While Sipin T, we serve you with the hottest news, celebrity breakdown, and everything pertaining lifestyle. If it's hot, then Ifelua and myself and another special anchor, Emerald, who is joining us today. Um, we'll definitely talk about it, so please welcome with me, Emerald. Hi. Hello. Did they actually drag you? Hmm. Uh, it's okay. They will fling you out of this. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think you've seen me on Twitter. I don't have manners, so. though. No, I don't even mean Twitter. There's They're no... like physical. How they physically they drag me? I don't do hooligan behaviors, if I want to be. Doing physical fights. Yeah, telling them to go and drag you. On the internet now, do they know where I live? Oh, so you're now you're scared? Scared. I'm just not a holy I know in your bedroom. Huh? Come and drag me in my room. They, okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, why, are you, why are you saying that they'll drag, they'll drag her? Like they'll no, drag I was her. just trying to make a joke, but okay. it's an inside joke. Huh, 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 we're so, we're laughing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I know this is not your first time on this table, mm -hmm. but it's your first time with me. Yeah. So I'm feeling very special, but I know if it has already <laughs> experienced you, so. Uh, more shit like that does it sound right. If I was already experienced, yeah, I'm not as polluted now. If I that's why I <laughs> get it. We were children of If I was already experienced, how was it like um, anchoring the show with her? Um, I think um, you figure it out yourself. Oh, okay, let's do it then. The first uh, topic we have for today is Dre's wife, who's Nicole Young, has um, basically said that Dre, Dr. Dre bought a house worth two million dollars for one of his mistresses. Dr. Dre's estranged wife, Nicole Young, has asked the courts to investigate his alleged mistress, mistresses, actually. According to reports, Young wants the court to investigate if the music mogul is responsible for the bills of the women. Young wants the, wants the three women who um, are claims are intimate with Dr. Dre's during their marriage to sit for dispositions. In the documents obtained by the media, Young claims an attorney representing one of the alleged girlfriends is trying to delay their dispositions until the validity of of their prenup is decided. In one instance, Young said she wants lawyers to speak with one of the alleged mistresses and find out if her insured husband got her a house worth $2.15 million. The music mogul and his estranged wife have been loggerheads since their marriage crashed. Nicole Young filed the paperwork for the divorce on Monday, June 29 of 2020, which is last year, citing the usual income inconsistable differences as the reason for their split up for the hip-hop mogul Sha basically she's saying that the three girls um that mr dre is seeing his tutoring behind mm -hmm. he wants them to, she wants them to come and sit down the couple who got married in 1996 so if you are not if you're up to that then you can calculate how much their marriage has lasted for and they're blessed with two adult children uh young was formerly married to the nba player sedale the threat and is now a trained lawyer so i guess she knows her stuff mm -hmm. but yeah, that, I think that makes a lot of sense for me. Because I remember when the story first came on the table, we were like, why is she asking for so much money? money. Why? Is she, like, if you've been married for 25 years, you should 24. obviously... Yeah, tw 24, rather. You should... Well, they'll be 25 this year. 1996, you'll be 25 mm. this yes, year. Yes, yes, I'm old. <laughs> Are you 1996? No. Um, that's why I'm old. Anyway, so that's, the, that's another reason why I can see why she's a lot more vicious with the whole mm. um, divorce thing. But three mistresses. If your husband, Emerald, had three mistresses that he had bought a house for, for $2.1 million, would you go hard at him on, when it's time to divorce him? Of course. <laughs> three yes. mistresses. Not one. Three. And he's and he's spent such an amount of money. Definitely go hard on him. Yeah. I think so too. I mean that's like not like I want to retaliate for I mean that's that's the best way to call it off. Yeah. I'd say. I agree. So you guys believe that um, revenge is the right I just way said to go. I just said it's not like I want to revenge, but yeah. if you want to go out or do whatever with three mistresses and why wait till work. the time of um what's it called now, divorce for you to actually, you know, lay claims to what is How like else we should do it yours. if it's not a divorce? So you think is you have to wait for divorce? If How else would she collect exactly. that money? There's no other means. Right, so There's what no other guys, means of getting I need the money. to get your points here right now. When it comes to Dr. Dre and his wife, and she asking for a lot of money and him having that, how are we putting that together? Mm? How are we putting the? Okay, so if I've been together? married to someone for yeah. <clears throat> twenty five years, only to find out now that he is sponsoring a bunch of women mm. that contradicts to everything now even legally speaking you have broken the contract mm. because mm -hmm. we're supposed to be one item right yeah so if i'm going to now say that this relationship this marriage means nothing to you because you've obviously nullified our contract i'm going to then state that since you are out there let's say other life. women 
Well, because already, even if I'm going to divorce you, there has to be um, spousal support, especially when you're married in that kind of um, lifestyle. What's the argument now that you already maintained some type of lifestyle for exactly. so many years? Yeah. You have to keep up with it. So what's the problem if I yeah. don't not ask for money for, for, but for the divorce? But did you see how much he's asking for months? <laughs> did you see how much he is he, spending exactly. on his mistress? So it's, it's not like he can so not... For one million, you know, for a house that a woman would live in for a lifetime. And then one million dollars monthly as spouse support. That's a stretch. So the mistress and the wife are we supposed to be collecting well, the same amount of money? Well, you're not exactly. collecting the same amount because it's just sorted out for the rest of our life. Do you understand? So if you ask and that's for okay. Woman, if I don't understand, I'm, I'm it's you. I don't understand. It's, I'm, I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying that okay. what she's still asking for is still way too much. Oh. One of the reasons I think she's asking for the amount of money is um, from the story. Um, she had said that. He wants to like, like throw her out mm. of the house. Mm. So obviously, she needs to get a house that meets the standard of the, the house that she's uh -huh. been living exactly. in and the kind of life she's been uh, living uh, for a long time. So, well, and okay. I think you like, also you, you also can't really put a price on a woman who's hurt. Um, yeah, true. I, yeah, I don't think true. you can ever say it's too much money for her to ask. For me, this the, the figures is not even her problem. Do you know why you I think this baby is hurt. Do you know why you say it's yeah. too much? Because after nine months, dude is done for. You don't think about that when he was. It's probably not going to have any money by the time he pays her for nine months. He'll be fine. We're still buying beef. And besides, it's just three that she's aware of. We can't even tell. And then also. just a philanthropist, you know, just trying to help people. Why are you guys laughing? What if he has nothing to do? He wants to buy a house for three months. Yeah, he's just a philanthropist. That's what he is. He's not, you know. He's a man, so he'll definitely say this. No, no, no. I'm not going to defend that. I don't like what I don't like. I'm not a cheat. So, yes, I'm not a cheat. So, I wouldn't support any man cheating. But, um,. What I would say is that uh, I think women too, you know, and let us be coming down now. Let's be coming down like this. On men, when yeah, they do things like that, that. Money is a lot, it's a whole lot. I know that it can be really annoying. I know we want to, you know, um, get vengeance. I know, but it's, is it going to take away the hurt? It's not going to take it away. Would it make you stop crying? Does this still change the fact that that's the man you have two kids? But with? it's not better for me to be crying in one point. It's something. going to solve. A lot, a lot of, of problems. Things, like, a lot. You don't even want to know about it. Well, that one, Deisha. And then we have history of um, domestic violence as well. And if that is true, because that is still being investigated, then yes, maybe she should be asking for that mm -hmm. money. Yeah. But not just because I'm sponsoring some other girl. You also Really? It's not enough reason? Do you this know how devastating enough. that is? You think it's only when they're beating somebody physically that the person can be hurt? Yeah, I know exactly. there's emotional asshole. I mean, emotional. Yeah. So all of that can come into play as well. But let's put all of that aside and let's just say that somebody you spent 25 years of your life with do you really want to see them suffer yes that is even have, one of the reasons why he should exactly, give her the money exactly so do you really want to see him suffer do you want to see he him might down not even and suffer out? after giving her the money well, he, he would, might not he, he, he might not want to buy his beats by Dre. it's not like if not all the they money that's it. all the money that apple in already there. bought beats uh, by so, Dre. Uh, okay so he will not make that's any, why he's no longer he will not make any other money because of this this when thing. last did you hear Dr. Dre make a bit like he's still making beats, but when last year he make a banger like boom, that's Dr. Dre. Um, well, Dr. Dre will be fine, and if he's not fine, then he should be thinking about that before he got three mistresses and buying them houses. Allegedly, because that's not even now. That's allegedly. not even a what's it called? She has a lawyer. She exists. It's yeah. I think it's further than allegedly. But anyway, whatever. Today is eleventh, and that means we're three days to Valentine's Day. Any plans? Hmm. I, I, really, I, <laughs> I didn't even take note of that mm. actually. But I did yesterday, but like today, no. Any plans? No so plans. So, what, what you thought about yesterday? What came to your mind? Which um, guy are we going to? No, you know? nothing came to my mind. I'm just, thing is, I've never really um, thought about Valentine. I've never celebrated Valentine. So, mm. it's not a big thing for me. Yeah. Yesterday, I just thought about it because I know once it's Valentine, everywhere is usually yeah. the mm. red, red, white, white is everywhere. Mm -hmm. and everybody's like Valentine, Valentine. So, if I don't have girlfriends, how fun? Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh! What are the plans? Huh? huh? What are your plans? Huh? huh? <laughs> Come on, Corona, Corona. Can we just keep blaming COVID? <laughs> can, That's can, a very good one. Can COVID Honey, keep we taking need the? To stay safe. Yeah, yeah. We need can, to stay safe. Social distancing. See, see this period we're. Social, social distancing. Social distancing. Right, absolutely. Definitely. Well, for the viewers out there who might have plans, and if you don't, you can stand a chance to win a Valentine's goodie bag courtesy of Oruko Yoruba Rewa and. 
Rumi's Bistro. Ten winners will be selected on February 14th, which is on Sunday, Valentine's Day. All you need to do is follow us on Instagram at Plus TV Africa. You can also follow us at Yorubanname.meanings and Ruby's Bistro. That is R-U-M-B-I-E-S-B-I-S-T-R-O. Drop your comments telling us why you would like to win the Valentine's goodie bag. And tag at least five friends, including myself, if I'm your friend. Good luck to that. Shall we move on to the next story? Yes, ma'am. All righty. Veteran American actress Halle, Halle Berry found time to reply comments left by some disgruntled fans on her Instagram page. The Hollywood film star had shared a meme which, re which read, Women don't owe you nothing. She, wrote, um, she also wrote an accompanying caption thus saying, and that is on Mary Had a Little Lamb, end of quote. A fan then tackled her for the statement by saying that men who bear the entire financial responsibilities of their wives deserve a lot. Barry replied that and said she does not fall in within that category, so she still doesn't owe you anything. Another follower berated her for not being able to keep a man. The former beauty queen, come Oscar award winning actress, then replied that she's not interested in keeping a man. And she went back and forth with a lot of these um, uh, fans now, betrothals now, what would, would we say? But do you think that Halle Berry can't keep a man? Well, I wouldn't know that, so maybe I have Based to. on history now. Based on uh -huh. history. Hmm. Mm -hmm. She's had a lot of fallout. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I really don't know. But like she said, she's not interested in keeping a man. So I feel like Halle Berry is the type of woman that men would want to keep and she wouldn't want to, you know. A lot of men would probably want to date Halle Berry in the first month and be talking about marriage. Mm. And maybe that's something that I'll just throw out of balance and just want to make her disappear. So yes, maybe it's not a fault. Maybe they're just in a hurry because every man wants to keep an Halle Berry. Mm. But um, mm. the women owe you anything i don't think anybody owes anybody anything in mm. the world <laughs> do you understand i think everybody should be allowed but um i think that a valid point is what's the relationship what is the connection do you understand that's what would determine if we owe each other things because i owe my friends um trust loyalty, loyalty. Yeah. you know i owe my friends um being a good friend, I owe them mm. the truth. Yeah. I owe my friends honesty. Mm. I owe my friends, you know, the basic things. So you can't tell me um, because my friend and she's a woman, I don't owe her nothing. So mm. I still owe everybody, depending on the relationship. I owe my family's responsibility. I owe my colleagues, you know, a dutiful work so it doesn't make their job look like mm. trash. Mm. So I owe a lot of people things. So I still don't get that statement. Yeah. Um, I think I agree to that statement. Mm. Um, the idea of like you don't owe anybody anything doesn't really sit well with mm. me sometimes. I understand where that's coming from in regards to like putting yourself first and you know not being selfish and yada yada yada. But how ideal is it that you actually don't owe anybody anything except you live in an island and you're really isolated from like the rest of the world? I think you owe people a level of decency, you owe people a level of responsibility, just being a decent person. But in regards to um, um, Halle Berry and not keeping a man, I was going to ask that. <laughs> uh, in regards to Halle Berry and not keeping a man, I think. Um, it's very it's a very backward mentality that mm. people have that you place value on woman based on how well she can successfully achieve um, a good relationship like even when you don't end up in marriage there's something wrong with you and not the man yeah if there is a single woman who's mm. in her 30s and a single man in his 30s mm. the man is just chilling taking his very time but the relaxed. woman is yes. has time a problem is yeah. her attitude is a bit bad but trust me Nigerian um, parents don't see it that way man they still let you know that man man or no man yes the society can you know be lenient on you but your family your parents can't be so lenient on you, especially when you're in your thirties and you're a man. Mm. That's why it's Nigerian. Mm. It's, like, it's a Nigerian thing. Actually. Yeah. So I think that, that I think that's a very big problem that you, we have, and I th they are projecting that on, on Halle Berry. She's had series of relationships, but not every woman actually cares that much about Marry. compromising. Mm. And because you see a lot of, for, for example, now you see a lot of men, a lot of women that. Um, how do I explain this? I personally think, okay, this might come across a bit off. I think once you enter marriage, you have decided to compromise. Mm. Because once you associate yourself to a man or to a human being, that person is not perfect. That person has issues. Mm -hmm. So already you know that you're compromising for something. Yeah. Every married person I've had a conversation with always says, yeah, you know, the man is not perfect. But da, 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 da. And if some women just feel like they don't want to do that, then I think that that's okay as well. Like, yeah. if I don't want to compromise. You know, yeah. the part where she said um, she doesn't owe anybody anything, I really want to understand. Um, is she talking about anybody or 
the man. person she's involved with, any man she's involved with, right. or any just random man person, at all. Right, right. That, that's another thing. So if the person, if she was saying that she wasn't um, owing anyone anything, would you agree to that statement? Anyone anything. Um, I would, I would agree to that statement. But if she was, if but was, if she was saying any right. man, I would say no because if you're involved with a man, just like you said, you're you should be ready to compromise mm. and you should be ready to sacrifice until you're depressing something. I think so. Yeah, and if you don't have that mindset, then maybe that's why you shouldn't be in a relationship. And maybe that's where she's coming from as well. I think you owe everyone around you something. Everyone around you. I'm not okay. just gonna see you and fuck. Okay, how far? <laughs> <laughs> what, what if I said I want to fuck? Uh, what if I want to fuck? People fuck all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, yeah people do. But I owe you guys that. If you're coming from you, actually, <laughs> you're not serious. So because if you mention something about now only owing your colleagues, what do you, what do you owe your colleagues? Uh, what do you owe your respect. colleagues? You, he no, said. No, no, uh, <laughs> you don't want live television, right? Uh, actually, let me save you. Let me save you from from this conversation. No, no, you don't have to. I owe my colleagues, you know, respect. Mm. You know, from the least to that scene. Reciprocated respect. Now, mark my <laughs> words. Reciprocated. Okay. If you don't reciprocate it, you don't get it. Would you say that if you're in a in an office setting, right? Mm. And um, do, would, let me ask you, Emerald. Do you think that it is unfair to make a lot of noise if you're in a public setting, like office? Of course. Would you say that that's respectful if I start to just make noise? No, no, it's not if I, What would you say about that statement? I think that would be very awful, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I can't. I, I think, cannot with you. <laughs> that would be very awful and very <laughs> inconsiderate of any hmm. colleague to hmm. do that. Huh? Why would they do that? Why would they? <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> ah, my head is hurting. Please, in fair, let's let's just move on from this conversation. Alrighty, mm -hmm. let's move. Let's American move. reality TV star Kim Kardashian has slammed a detectors who doubted that her eight-year-old daughter Northwest made a beautiful painting. The fashion entrepreneur took to her Instagram story to put the naysayers in their place. She wrote that no one should dare play with her when it comes to her children. The Keeping Up with the Kardashian star also revealed that North and her best friends have been taking a serious oil painting class that helps them to nurture and encourage their talents and creativity. The aspiring lawyer further stated that people should stop embarrassing themselves with the negative comments on her daughter's paintings. I want to know... Okay, so this story... I, I, when it comes to children and comments, mm. I find it really weird when people on social media really feel like they have a right to really talk, talk about. Like, I've seen people say, like, kids are not pretty or, like, you know, like very... awful things that kids are not pretty or that, you know, they, they dressed really badly. Like, what kind of sick person are you, you to, to, be to make such a person. statement about yeah, children? First of all, you must be a big bully because... This child has no say in a lot of things. Yeah. And why are you doubting and so much? And this child is probably not going to see your comments. Comments. Exactly. So or might see it. Exactly. Later. So, no, 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 even if they see it, because some of them have social media, yeah, how, that know. even makes it worse. Like, why it's are going you talking? To, like, affect really them affect, them affect them. Yeah. It's a very weird. I saw this video. I will go back to um, Kardashian's story now. I saw this video about a, um, I think it was, um, no, not, the tennis girl. What's mm. her name now? Serena Williams? No, the sister. Um, What's her name? The sister's name? Serena or who now? Serena. Williams. This is Williams. This is Serena. This Sha, Williams. What? Sister, go on. Sha, one of them, Sha. The, um, she was really young in an interview. and she Sissy. Was, no, it's not Sissy. Serena and Vet. Ve, mm, mm. Let's go. Well, it's an entertainment Let's table, so it's yeah, okay if you don't understand yeah. everything about sports. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know those sisters. Venus, 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 Venus Williams. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay, so Venus was on the table inter um, being interviewed by another you know, grown adult and everything. And then she said, she said to him that, no, the guy asked her, like, do you think you can beat this other competitor or something? And then she was like, oh, no, that. No, she knows she can beat the person. She knows that for a fact. And they were like, are you sure that this person is, you know, a really, I guess, big um, tennis yeah. player or whatever? Yeah. And then she was like, no, she knows for a fact. And he kept asking, kept asking. Then the father now came in that if the child tells you that she can beat the person, end it there. Now, why are you um, pushing? Because then now you're creating doubts in yeah. that child's head. Yeah. And when I saw the story, I felt like that's what these people who were in Kim Kardashian's um, mm. um, thingy were trying to do yeah. without even knowing. Yes, they cannot have access to North directly, but when you see such a, a beautiful painting that looks like an adult could have made it or like mm. a proper artist could have made it, I think you are projecting your insecurities 
on that child by insisting that, that she's not the person that did it. A lot of the times with, with, uh, with um, parents, I think, especially in this side of the world, we can be very flat with how we raise our children and not really like push for them to be really... Um, more. More, yes. I remember when we were younger, we would see Asians when they were younger, either in a movie or like fighting, on, and we'd be like, wow, how can they do such things that That's they're... Very little. Yeah, um, I, I think it's because we don't push our children that um, far with in this side of the world and stuff. So in regards to Kim Kardashian, what she said, I absolutely agree. When it comes to children, you have to protect them from all the adults' insecurities, projecting your issues, your doubts on the, the, the kids Thank and you. stuff. Because if she is taking the time for an eight-year-old to be doing oil painting classes, oil painting classes is like an advanced type of art mm -hmm. class. So for you to be doing all of that, then obviously you're onto something. And if you cannot, if you're not capable of even thinking that for your children, then that's on you, not on her. Exactly. But yeah. I totally agree with her. And also, um, you know, when um, I saw the news, the fact that it's a painting, mm. I was like, this is just a painting, even though it's an oil painting, which is different, yeah. But it's a painting and a child of eight years it's very possible. Yeah. Like we're having the argument. Mm -hmm. Like it's very possible that she did it. Like mm. hundred percent possible that she did it. And then um, if I, you made mention of something, if um, you said that if um, she was looking at a picture, yes, or it could be that she looked at something and yeah. just put out what she's right. doing. Right. Or it might even be a, a she drew it from, from her head. head. Right. So you think it's not impossible for a child to be able to do that? It's not a big deal. Yeah. To so look at a picture and draw it. What if it was from her head? Is that what you're saying? No, we're saying, we're saying before now that if it was from her head, then we can, we can, people yeah, to, people can mm, really you know, doubt can, it. But if she was actually looking from a picture and, and that doing the same thing, and or maybe she was even looking outside hard. the window that had mm. that view. Because that, the view was, um, it's a tree mm. and um, I think a seaside. And a, and a, and a, and a, and a sort of mountain or a hill or something. Because what, what, what I heard was that, that I'm not, I have no no interest in pictures. And that looks like the kind of place that uh, Northwest will be anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so get, what, what I heard from, from an article online in America was that this painting is actually a famous painting done by someone oh. else like a very famous so actor. that means there's every possibility that she copied she it exactly. yeah so. and i guess the the fact that she was quite good with how she painted it was it see guys it's possible guy it's possible so to I want, what, what i What's want a, big a lot deal? of people to know is that can't is not something that we should always you know focus on, focus mm. on because i was having a conversation with um a senior colleague this morning you know talk to our talk and it was like if it, you know there are things that i can do and you can't do and yeah. there are things that you can't do that i can do mm. i said no if there's no can't in effects dictionary if it oh, can oh. do everything mm. he said what do you mean like you're gonna make me start looking at you like a child i said yes you feel free to look at me like a child mm. but it is the way i have chosen to live my life i know there is a word like can't it's an english word it's in the dictionary i can tell you different meanings of can't but is it applicable to my life okay so if no. can you dance like coffee because i know you cannot dance if i want to dance like coffee yeah. i can dance like mm. coffee that's mm -hmm. true. Yes, I, will, I true. just need to learn how to dance. The fact that I don't so do you, know... Do you, so you don't think that there are things that you're incapable of doing? I don't think there's anything I'm incapable of doing okay. as long as I set my mind to it. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. say anything about that. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Because then I'll be doing the same thing that I just said that people should not be doing, which is projecting their, Fear. their fears on those people. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. But I, I, I do think that there's limitations that we, each so human, human no. is, has. There's there, some things there are that. no limitations. That personally, personally, for me, I think mm. that there are some physical limitations your body can cannot do. You think? Yes. Especially things that you have. How do I explain it? that? There are things that you have years to get, get get to. Like in this world, you can't just get up and decide some things, right? If I want to become like a professional character person, mm -hmm. sometimes you might have to have been doing that ages before then. Like you, you have to have been doing do, it you, you years see, before. You see movie stars that learn karate because of a movie it, in six exactly. months. Yeah. They're That's good true. at a few yeah. things. At least I can do a few moves and look like I know this thing. Mm, yeah, but then at the end of the day, you still need like... PM, what's it called? Stunts people to do some roles because some yeah. people are incapable of doing some. But things. if I continue, okay. you know, consistency is key. As yeah, well. yeah, I agree. So if I continue, I'll probably be better than you know Jet Li. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who says I can't be the next Ifeli? Mm. 
Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I mean, I agree to that mindset, but I don't know. I just, it's, I don't think it's that simple well, to just. It's not say. that simple, but just don't limit yourself. That's the old message. Yeah? It's not what about you. things that are that you know you have to be naturally talented at, like maybe singing? Some people, people still learn how to sing and do very well at it. And who says I learning? can't sing? And who says you can't sing? No, I'm just you saying, just like, so, isn't, isn't there's some things that are just like talents from? Do you say yeah, even you talent, can people, sing? People, people also learn. How to sing. Yes. Mm. Take for example, like there are people who are naturally like they, they dance so well. Let's mm -hmm. um, we don't I don't know about Cafe if she has been dancing or I mean oh, if life. it's a what talent she, or yeah. she learns it, yeah. I don't I really don't know. But I know that there are people who, who learn how to dance and they can actually dance like mm. dance very yeah. well. Yeah. So fair. Okay. I guess impossible nothing. Yes. I, I, hallelujah.